today on Clear Your Clutter Inside and Out, we're talking about settling into your new home. Are you ready to settle into your new home with ease? What are some of the to-dos that must be to done? Do you know what's most essential for when you're starting your new life at your new home? Learn tips for easy peasy moving in as we wrap up our month focusing on downsizing. Do you control your clutter or does your clutter control you? On Clear Your Clutter Inside and Out, we'll teach you awareness as well as action steps to create change in your life. Come on, let's get started. Today's episode was inspired by my experience. I have moved a couple of times, although it has been 12 years as I'm about to move again. And these are just some tips to help. You know, there's a lot going on. In class, I share more detail. But here are some things to ensure that you have an easy transition into your new home. And I'd encourage you, if you're in this process, like we've already started to say goodbye and thank the current house where we're in and welcoming and putting the energy into our new home. Have tools ready for assembling furniture. Now, I know one of the things you can do is we are going to disassemble the beds, but have the movers probably set the beds up like that for me is worth peace of mind with everything going on but you might have bookcases and everything have a little toolkit and keep that in your car change the lock yes everyone's nice and all change the lock we know we are setting up a nest we'll have a nest camera up front and we will be setting that and setting up a security system Create an unpacking strategy. Most people choose to unpack the bedroom, kitchen, and the bathroom first. That, I'm telling you right now, that's what our strategy is going to be. And the pets, I would add that too. We need to get, we'll have an essential box and get the pets situated as well. Unpack your essentials box and your pets essentials boxes first. So that for Us is going to include suitcases, my computer, because I'm going to want to get my computer up and running as soon as possible, and everything we have for the pet. So that's going to include some bedding, that's going to include toys, food, litter. Now is the time to get organized. If you are not organized, you can start from the get go. Organize your closet as you put it away. Take the few extra minutes and do this. You, your future self, will thank you. Take the time to organize everything in the kitchen. Organize as you unpack. Once you have the main essentials on unpacking completed, take the time to enjoy your new space. You know, we're setting aside an entire weekend. Thank goodness my mother is driving down either the day of or the day after we move, which is going to be huge because she will be able to help us. But we have a great backyard. We're woods and we have a little deck. I'm going to be enjoying some iced tea on the deck. Not sweet tea because I can't handle that, but I'm super excited for that. I will take breaks in between working. Meet neighbors and explore the neighborhood. I'm super excited. We just had the inspection this morning and found a cat sitter. I had posted for a cat sitter moon to Angier and this woman's like, oh, isn't that the blah, blah? And I said, oh, you know, I don't know. Sorry, I'm still kind of out of it. Anyway, she's our neighbor. She could walk to our house. And literally, she said, oh, I have, I have bad knees and I have to drive. And I'm super excited. She's really nice. She's like really excited to welcome you to the neighborhood. So take the time to meet your neighbors and explore. Now, make sure with pets that you keep all windows and doors closed when they're unsupervised. Now, I'm not a dog parent. I know the dogs need to be walked. Antonio and Athena, and Joey likes to wander outside too for like five or 10 minutes a day, but no windows because I'm telling you, two jailbirds, Antonio and Athena will try to make a break for it. And we don't want that until they have gotten accustomed to the home. And we're building a private. Be cautious about narrow gaps behind or between appliances because when pets get nervous, they might try to hide. So you might think, oh no, and, and they could get stuck. So be aware of that. If your old home is nearby, the pets might try to go back. 
I've heard about that happening on, and bless his heart, and someone great ended up adopting him. They dumped this older cat at the shelter, and he traveled some ridiculous amount to the family again, and luckily some beautiful person adopted him, but just be aware of that. So I will give a heads up to our neighbors across the street. I doubt that, but I'm covering all my bases. Give the new homeowners, your former neighbors, their, your phone number and your pet's photo, just in case that happened. Again, going with my father's philosophy of preparing so it won't happen. Overwhelmed with stuff? Can't find what you need when you need it? Tired of wasting time and energy maintaining your mess? Longing for peace of mind? Let Julie Caraccio support you in decluttering your life to create a lasting change. Visit reawakenyourbrilliance.com to learn more. Now you're going to, with the pets, definitely want to unpack their essentials box right away. And you might want to consider something like feel away for cats. And I believe Adapto is what's used for dogs, but something put in to help them soothe, help the pets adjust. Take the time to meet your home. I can't wait to talk to the new home. I'm so excited. But listening to the sounds, like we'll probably hear some rustling of the trees. And honor your adjustment from your old home. Like this is a big thing. You're moving into a new space. Meet and greet and talk to your home. I'm saying thank you to the home as we leave it. But do the same thing for your new home. Thank you for welcoming new beautiful home. Consider taking pictures of your new home. Oh, right before and oh, look how pretty it looks. Also take the time to, as you're crazily and settling in, to establish a sanctuary. It's one room or one area that maybe you decorated immediately, or it's one area when you feel like you need a break and you need to retreat and feel at home. Maybe it's a special chair that you always sit in or that makes you just ah, relax as soon as you're there. Or one of the things I want to set up are my paints. I'm finally, once I'm completely settled, I want to devote more time to painting. And that's going to be part of my sanctuary. Assign weekly family project tasks for maintenance, upkeep, and quality time. Like especially if you're moving, I'm going to make sure that Tony and I have a good cooked meal that first week where I'm in the kitchen and cook everything. I'm going to make sure, okay, check in. How are we doing? What do we need to do? Let's do a nice walk around the neighborhood. Routines are really important now because, especially with kids, or if you have difficulty changing, you have an animal that does, if you establish a somewhat normal routine, it helps them feel more at home. Now, a couple years ago, I did a podcast on routines. So check that out. I talk about morning, evening, and weekend routines. But start to Establish that. And if you haven't had routines and you're moving, now's a good time to start. Explore your new community. Where's the nearest post office, the bank, the grocery store, the police, fire, and hospital? That was one of the things we talked about our new neighbor this morning. Oh, where do you shop? Where can we hike? Have fun with that. Update your driver's license and car registrations with the DMV. And I think in North Carolina, even though we're moving counties, we're one county south, but I think you have to get a new license, I want to say within 90 days. Tony looked that up, and I thought, go on vacation, then I can get a new license after that. Don't forget to register to vote. I cracked up. I got something from Los Angeles saying, oh, is this your address, and you know, you're not registered to vote in LA County, and I wrote back, and I said, yes, this is the new address. I've been gone for 12 years, so make sure you register. Call the sanitation department if you have curbside pickup trash and recycling. Like I know in Raleigh, there are days, and most people that's established uh, are days. And it's interesting, one of, that's one of the things we have to sign up for is a trash and recycling pickup. But, you know, we are having all our bills. So meaning everything is going to be half of what we're paying now. So I am happy to pay. And she told us, our neighbor told us, say, well, we pay $100 a year to take the trash and recycling a mile and a half down the road. It is worth it to me to pay, I think, 35 a quarter for someone I can just move this stuff out into the street. Learn rules and regulations of your apartment or if you have an HOA. 
Don't forget to email or send announcements to friends and family with your new address and phone number. These are just a couple tips to help you move in and get settled. Again, we have more in the class as this is the last episode of the month. We have till the end of May special on the moving or downsizing class. Take action from today's podcast. Pack an essentials box to be unpacked right away. Change the locks. Explore your new neighborhood and city. Have a plan for pets. Get to know your home. Create routines. Establish yourself in your new town, with driver's license, etc. Next month, we're focusing on summertime. Go out, clear your clutter to create the life you choose, deserve, and desire. When you clear your clutter, you can share your gifts with the world. Sign up for our free newsletter at reawakenyourbrilliance.com. If you've enjoyed Clear Your Clutter Inside and Out, please rate, review, and share us.